The Opie and Anthony radio show took a very serious turn this week. A caller made a chilling confession to murder. But was it real? Bob O'Brien is here with the story for us. Bob? Brenda, Opie and Anthony have parlayed outrageous banter into one of radio's biggest success stories. On the air, live in 21 cities from coast to coast. But for the last two days, one of their callers wasted an outrageous amount of the NYPD's time by claiming he'd murdered two men with a high-powered rifle back in 1977 and never got caught. Oh, what's your name? All calls to the Opie and Anthony show are screened as they come in, but neither Greg Opie Hughes nor Anthony Cumia were prepared to have a caller claim he shot two men to death back in 1977 during a drug deal gone bad. Listen to the tape of yesterday's conversation with a man calling himself Eddie. You no, shot two drug I, dealer I guys. Shot, I shot the other two animals. And and uh, did you hit and did you kill them both? Yes. You know we're not used to uh, people admitting to murders on this program, and uh, he sounded crazy enough that he might have done it. He also sounded uh, crazy enough that he might be delusional in believing that uh, he did it. I gotta say, I think the guy's just a kook. You don't believe he did it? Uh, I'm not buying it anymore. After three detectives from the NYPD cold case squad visited Eddie at his Ridgewood, Queens home, they weren't buying his story either. But throughout the Opie and Anthony show today, Eddie kept calling, trying to get himself out of the mess he'd created. Bob O'Brien, I'm going to give you an exclusive. Eddie is calling us right now. Eddie is here. Let's see what he has to say. Eddie! Hey, what's up? You got uh, Channel 9 News listening to you right All now. All right, I'm a kook. I'm a, and I'm on Zoloft. That's all I got to say. Okay? <laughs> Bye. As far as NYPD spokesman Michael O'Looney is concerned, there was nothing okay about Eddie's radio hoax. O'Looney calls it a waste of valuable police resources that needlessly had three cold case squad detectives working two days on a total hoax.